Hey guys, what up? Just I'm um, following up from a video, the, the end of video, right? Um, I want to show you guys this as I'm currently opening a client. Huh? You see that residue there? That's actually a liquid I was talking about when it saturates the blender, what it goes on with it, right? This is the brushes. As well, I said, you can look at the brushes and tell you exactly what is going on with it, right? So if you notice, there's a little discoloration here, right? That's where the um, burning was taking place when you smell something burning. That's what happened is the heat that actually gets into that color. Right? So this is no longer good the brushes. I'll have to replace these once the commutator is okay. So here we see more of the residue. Alright. This is the actual motor here. Right? Attached to this brand of blender. Now if you notice it's totally different from the custom brand. Right? So this here, what you see spinning here, is the commutator. That's where the brushes actually rub on, so you get this idea of this semicircle look. This kind of kind of look right? So it actually hugs around here and causes the current to flow from this point to the armature, which is inside of here. So now that we're on this side, I'm going to show you this is actually the top, right? This is the top of the blender here, and this is what goes on top of here to secure it to the base that is the tail. So you notice liquid residue again, sticky, right? So if you notice on top of here, you're gonna see there's some grind actually right there, right? So then if you rotate this, you're gonna notice the grind is actually on the shelf itself. So it got between the bushes, which is this thing here, and it lock it up. And if black, because of heat, so that's actually friction wear, and it cause so to get tight, notice the coil here is also damaged, right? Heat, right? It runs down. So that's exactly what I was trying to explain when I say if you don't service the blender on time, this is the end result here. Right? A little more details from the follow from the last YouTube video. Alright, so for the motor which is we see so far, we notice this wire here. You see what's going on here? That is caused by heat. So I was just playing around with the motor. See what it is going on with the and everything. You're gonna notice this here melts. And this is actually good that it's really kind of stick it up. All this here melts, you're gonna see the residue here is actually this wire here. See all this here melted. This is when I'm talking about running your blender for too long. This is what takes space inside. So you're gonna smell something good. What could be happening? This way you see in there, right? It's actually a piece of the wire. So the wire, the insulation melts, touch the coil, yeah, smokes, sparks, more things than that. So we understand how important it is not to run your blender at the two minutes. I can run it for two minutes, right? So, this just a compound exactly what I was trying to say in the video. Right, there's a lot more I would la like to say, but I'll try to keep it short and sweet. So, this is like the, the fling cam. The only fling cam I need. Alright, guys, so this is part of what we just have to put through as technicians. Right, and um, part of our job. So, this is again, it's not very fair to open your blender because you notice the coil winding and the other things to check for. You might think it's easy to clean this, right? If you don't know how to clean it, you can damage the shaft by leaving a marking on it. Or you can even take all the lubrication. Or don't know what is the correct lubrication to put here. You can't use WD-40 or solvents like that or liquids like that because it will burn out. You can't take the heat and evaporate and put in more problems. So there are things that technicians are known to do to get these things working. That's our job. That's what you pay us for. Right? So please don't go trying to be a tech because it can make a bad situation worse. Right? So this um, definition of inside a blender, pixel fling style.